Hey guys, it is, I don't even know, it should, I should know this, Sunday, <clears throat> April 29th, uh, 11.30 in the morning, just woke up about an hour and a half ago, I was up yesterday from 5am to 2am, so I'm just like exhausted, um, and I'm just going to try to leave this as quick as possible, but you know me, I don't shut up. So I'm seriously going to watch the time and make sure this doesn't go on for like a long time. <clears throat> um, but I'm not going to edit this because I just don't have, I don't care. I'm just going to talk and upload and this is going to be me informing you about my show day. <clears throat> so uh, yesterday was show day and it did not go how I wanted it to go. Um, I... I competed in Bikini True Novice, which was with all the competitors who have never competed before. I competed in Novice, um, which is all competitors who, what, have never won, babe, before or never placed, um, I think? I think they've never... Whatever, you guys know. No, or maybe you don't. Novice is like people who've never placed or something. Or no, no, because Mar Larissa did Novice. I don't fucking know. Novice is like, I think for that season, competition season, you could have, you, you have never placed or something. I don't fucking know. Something like that. I think it's like first or second overall, you never won something, or you never won your class. I have no idea. We don't fucking know. I should know this. But anyway, if you're a competitor, you're probably laughing at me, but I competed in Novice. <laughs> Just like... It's like not I don't want to say beginners because there were other people that competed in novice that weren't beginners, but I I think if, if you haven't placed that competition season yet or something, I don't fucking know. Um <clears throat> and then I competed in my height class, which was A. I am five foot tall and five foot three quarters, shorter than I thought I was. I thought it was five one. Um and so there was no night show at the Florida Grand Prix, which is new. Usually pre-judging is in the morning where they pull you out in a straight line in the center of the stage and they do comparisons. They move you to first, uh, they like the little positions and then you kind of get an idea of your placing from there and then you come back at the night show for the awards. This show was um, just straight through. Awards were given right then and there, live judging right then and there. Um, and the comparisons didn't happen in the center of the stage comparisons were on the side of the stage so i don't know how you can really compare physiques when there's a line of girls on the side of the stage and um so it was just weird um my before i tell you my placing i'm just going to tell you how the show went because it was very different than the traditional show that like if you've seen show footage before it was like the opposite of what happens it was very very strange um and just weird so um my posing i pose best i think my best side um the pose that i love is on this side of my body my this is my good my good shoulder without the tattoo my glute looks really round um it's like that my selfie pose that i'm always posting on instagram my very strong pose i love it i think i look fantastic in that pose but it hides my number so usually what happens um is in, you know, when you, you do your routine, if you're in a pose where they can't see your number, the judges will say, lady, show me your number. And then I had a pose that I would hit for that scenario um, when they asked to see my number. So I would turn and hit a front pose where they saw my number and then I would go back to my strong pose. Um, well, I guess the judges didn't, didn't really ask to see anyone's number. Uh, so whatever. So in um, <clears throat> Bikini Novice, with all the people who've like never placed before, or whatever the fuck it is, I think it's like never placed that competition season. What? I don't know what it is. Okay. I think that's something- I'm not weird. editing this, so we're just gonna let Brian talk to himself. Um, yeah. For Bikini Novice, I'm, I think it's the people who have never placed top five in their class for that competition year season. Um, I didn't, place at all I got second call outs um 
and that was my first uh, little outing on stage. That was when I hit and did my individual routine. Went to, so you do your individual routine and you go straight to the sideline. <clears throat> there was girls on this side of the stage and on this side of the stage and the judges were in front right here. I was the last one on this side of the stage and um, yeah, didn't get called out. Um, so that happened and then for Bikini True Novice, which was the people who have never competed before, the newbies, I, um, I got second. And then for my class, Bikini Class A, I got fourth. Um, and I just am not happy with the outcome because of the year and a half that I put in. I've just like, it's just sad because like I uh, have worked so fucking hard and like so long and like, uh, I just basically why I'm like so upset is because like I put my life on hold for a year and a half. I didn't celebrate birthdays and anniversaries and holidays with my family uh, all for this and it's so silly that I did that. Um, I could not, in my opinion, um, I could not have come to the show looking any better. I, uh, I know people say like, oh, this is, you know, your first show, you come back to your second show looking even better. I'm sorry, I'm not a cocky person. You guys know that if you know me, I'm not cocky at all. I'm like borderline not even confident. Um, so for me to say that I truly believe that if I did a second show, I couldn't come in better. Like, how could I have come in any better? I'm sorry, but that is the truth. Um, again, not to sound cocky cause you guys know I'm not, but there was not one person, not one girl that I saw that I was threatened by, um, which says a lot for me because I usually am just like, oh my God, I don't give myself enough credit. And uh, I was pretty damn confident looking at the physiques around me. Um, it was just, it sucked. You know, one of the girls, one of the many girls <laughs> that beat me was actually chewing her slice of pizza as she was stepping on to the stage. So uh, that was like, <laughs> it was just silly. Um, I had a great prep. It didn't even feel like a prep because it was so good. Um, it just, and I know, I know that I didn't disappoint my coach, but like, ugh, we just like thought it would turn out better. So like, I just feel like, ugh, it just sucks because I just feel, I know I didn't let my coach down. I know that. I just like. I feel like I did. Brian's like over there having a hard time listening to me, but that's how I feel. I just wanted to tell you exactly how I feel. Um, I'm embarrassed. And that's about it. Um, I have like 78, 73 messages on Instagram asking how I did. And I just want to delete them all. I I can't go through 70 something um, messages talking about how I did. So I'm just not gonna, I'm just, I don't wanna deal with it. So this is my little, this is how I did. And um, I am gonna start a new chapter in my life. Competing just isn't for me. I don't think there was one fucking individual at that show that worked harder than me this past year and a half. So I just thought uh, no one can 
no one trains harder than me no one is more consistent than me and i can take that and hold my head up high and i did my absolute best <clears throat> i couldn't have done better i couldn't i had to um also switch up my posing halfway through the show to a pose that i have not practiced in psh, maybe three months um so that was I mean, like, it wasn't hard. I just hit it, and Paul was like, you got it. This is, yes, like, you're hitting the pose right. But I haven't practiced it. I didn't practice my... I, I haven't practiced that pose and transitioning from that pose. It was literally, like, I've been practicing doing one side of my body, transitioning to that one side of my body to the point where it is, like, I could do it in my sleep. And to have to switch that halfway through the show was so hard because it was literally like I had to do the opposite, go the opposite way of the way that I've been practicing every minute of my, you know, prep. So that was like hard, but I'm damn proud that my first show I was able to like adjust and um, make that quick little sw switch to my posing. Um, I really wasn't nervous actually. Especially after I got off and I got second call outs for a novice. I was like Fuck this. I don't care. like that took away every ounce of nerves any butterfly that I had Was gone. I was just like I'm so ready to leave um, But yeah, it was just not Wasn't fun to me. I of course like you know I met um, some of my teammates team pro physique girls who were like the sweetest They didn't even I mean they did they did great um, They did good Better than me, but uh, not as good as they should have for the package that they brought because those girls on Team Pro Physique, wow, they looked fucking amazing and uh, deserved to place better for sure. <laughs> for fucking sure. Um, so, yeah, it just sucked that the judges weren't even asking to like show me your number. I don't know if they saw me. I don't, I don't know. I'm not gonna make excuses about teams that were there. I'm not gonna make excuses like, oh, they just didn't see my number. So that's why I didn't place well. Um, I got fourth for my open with the new pose that I had to, to not learn because I didn't need to learn it, but the, the different pose that I had to switch to. Uh, so whatever, I am, this is a, a new chapter of my life. I will not compete again. Um, I work too hard to, I work too hard to have a table of eight to 10 or however many old men judge my body and make me believe that it's not good enough. Um, this just, it really hurts and like it makes you second guess like your whole body. And now I like I totally get how like females have like uh, you know they get body dysmorphia or they start to hate themselves for eating disorders from competing because you really start to second guess all that you do and your body and uh, it's it's really shitty. Competing is like really really just so mean. <laughs> it's so mean for the head judge to be like a 75 year old man. What is, I mean, I don't care what he thinks of my body. Um, I don't even care to hear my feedback. I don't care. I had more muscle than everyone that I saw, so I don't know if that was why. I don't I have no fucking clue. But no one is going to make me believe that I have to lose muscle. No one's going to make me switch my style of training to go lighter, to go softer, to be more fluffy. Um, so... This is a new chapter of my life where I'm gonna live. I basically took a year and a half of my life and, and put it on hold. And I tracked everything in my phone. I didn't go out to eat. I secluded myself. Um, I was gonna miss my best friend's bachelorette party later this year because I was gonna be on prep. I need to start living. I'm 27 years old. I will hopefully be having babies in the future and yeah. I need to start living. Um, I've been to California. I go to California every three months to see Amanda Bucci and do the Influencer Academy thing. 
and not one time have I been able to go to California and like go to a restaurant. <laughs> Believe it or not, I've been there what three or four times and I have not once like went to a restaurant and ordered what I wanted. So um, I'm going to California in two weeks and I cannot wait to eat some vegan food. I know that sounds really like not exciting, but trust me. It is. It, it is. For Brian Sullivan to say that Californian vegan food. Mexican vegan, woohoo. Yes, gracias madres. I, I did go there, I tracked what I got. I got what I didn't, I got something that like, of course I, it sounded good, but it wasn't exactly what I wanted. I'm just excited to live and go to a restaurant. We're getting poke today after the gym and I can go to this restaurant, this poke restaurant and build my own bowl with whatever I want. Do you understand that? I have not been able to do that since 2016. So this is, um, the new journey, the new chapter that I hope you guys will uh, come along for. And I wanna show you that balance is possible, that you can track macros during the week and have a date night with your husband and not go overboard. Um, this past year and a half, last night, I was like, that past year and a half was a total waste, but it, you know, the way that I have to look at it is the past year and a half was absolutely not a waste because I overcame my binge eating. I overcame my terrible relationship with food and the terrible relationship I have with my body. Um, I'm excited to get my period back and to put a little fat on because right now I wake up in the morning and I look like a Holocaust victim <laughs> with how lean that I am. I'm 9% body fat and um, I just, I'm excited to have some shape to me and to just train and fuel my body and show you guys, I wanna be a coach to you that's not a competitor. I wanna be a coach that has a physique that is attainable, that you can attain um, with balance, with going out to eat and enjoying your life. And that's how I coach my current clients. Um, so that is, I'm, I'm excited to maybe eventually in a couple months, um, start diving into more of an intuitive eating lifestyle. I am going to um, do some type of reverse. I have no idea because I mean, I ate 290 carbs the day before the show. So like, I don't even know if I have to reverse out of the show. I have no idea. Paul's gonna tell me what to do. <laughs> um, I don't know, but I'm going to go to dinners. I'm gonna have sushi after my workout and not stress out about it. Like. I'm gonna live my fucking life. I woke up this morning and I was only 0.8 higher on the scale than I was yesterday morning when I woke up uh, after the show. After after the show, I had a mini s'mores donut. I had three servings of Icon Meals popcorn and then we went to a restaurant in West Palm Beach called Kapow and we just got like a ton of dishes that we all picked on and that was my night. Um, so, that's that this is 18 minutes i'm sorry i cried um i should probably cut that out but i'm not going to uh because that's my real reaction and i'm not gonna hide that i'm upset i'm not gonna hide and i'm not a sore loser it i'm not congratulations to all the girls that won um i just i worked harder than that to, to get the placing that i got i worked very hard and um it just wasn't i'm my body isn't what the judges like i'm not it's okay that i'm not i don't have the body for competing i don't have a soft barbie look and i'm cool with that i want to be a badass bitch that squats to fucking 30 with no no belt no squat shoes no fucking knee sleeves and uh i want to overhead press a 25 on each side and fucking like beast it i'm five fucking foot and i can lift some heavy ass fucking weight so that's, I'm gonna just gonna be a badass at life and I will just walk around with a pro physique because I believe that I have a pro physique and that's good enough for me and good enough for my coach. So um, please don't tell me not to give up because that's actually making me more pissed. No one can tell me what to do and if I choose to not compete anymore because it's, I don't think it's for me, then that's what I'm gonna do. I don't like the process. Um, I had a terrible headache all day because I was dehydrated. I, my feet hurt, my tan, it was just like, I had to pee out of a cup and hold it all day. It was just an exhausting day to like, not even have fun on stage. Uh, 
So it's okay, competing is not for everyone and that's fine. At least I did it and now I never have to wonder what if. Now I can just be like, all right, I wasn't good at competing, that's fine. Maybe I would do better in the WFBB, WBFF, whatever the fuck that's called. I don't remember the name of it, but it's like those girls are WBFF. WBFF. Those girls are fucking shredded with wings on. It's like really like uh, glamorous and they are shredded. I'd probably do better in that division, yeah. but I don't care. I'm not, I don't need a judge to tell me I'm great because I think I'm great. I love my body and I wouldn't have traded it with not one human being under that roof yesterday. Um, I love my muscle. I love my six pack. I love my butt, uh, and let's just work on getting it bigger, right? So, um, hopefully you guys still care. Uh, why do I feel like I let you down? Uh, I know I didn't let them down, I just feel bad. I have to stop caring what everyone else thinks, and it's just hard when you have like a following. And like, I don't know, it's just tough. So, it's been 21 minutes and I cried a lot and I'll probably be super embarrassed to post this, but I am one of the only real motherfuckers on the internet who will post something like this. Um, I can't remember your name, but the girl with the beautiful eyes and the pink suit. Will you message me or uh, email me or comment? I wanna follow you, I wanna be in your life. I fucking loved you, I vibed with you hard and I haven't stopped thinking about you because you just made me feel, you're just a good person and I want you to message me if you see this. Beautiful eye makeup, pink suit, you and your friend in the purple suit. You guys were just, oh. I just wanted to hug you right now. I just, I love you. So message me because I just want to follow you back and I want to be your friend. So if you are watching this, message me because I would love to just like be online friends, real life friends, especially if you're local. Uh, but anyway, that's that. I just had some chocolate chip pancakes that I made at my house. They were like protein pancakes. I did cardio this morning. Uh, just to like clear my head and sweat and now I'm gonna go hit some legs. My mom is here. Um, this is her last full day. I have not been able to spend one day with her. She's just out seeing friends so she's not even here right now but the plan for today is to go to the gym and hit legs. I'm gonna get some poke after and then me and my mom and Brian are going to set up the grill outside, get plants and make my outdoors really pretty and then we're gonna just grill outside and have a great night together. So um, I'm excited to bring you guys recipes again that you can enjoy. I'm excited to get my recipe cards every Sunday going. I'm excited to eat my Mediterranean quinoa bowl. I can't wait to make that. I haven't made that in so long. <laughs> um, I want a gyro really bad and some pho and then I think I'll be, and that'll be good. I'll be, I'll be good after those two meals. Um, but I just want to share the message that no one should make you feel less than. And that's it. So this is my journey on um, just self-love and balance and living and maintaining a body that is strong and I feel comfortable in and confident in. No matter what I weigh, no matter what my size is, and I want you guys to come along for this new journey that I have never done before. So that's that. I am gonna stay off social media, I think, for another day. And um, that's it. So I'm just gonna upload this and have you guys watch it. And I'm sorry for the tears. I'm sorry, I don't want you to think I'm a sore loser. I'm just sad because of all of the time that I have put in. And it just, it's hard to not feel like I let people down. Um, Cause me and my coach had pretty high hopes for the show, but I wasn't even, you know, I didn't even get nationally qualified. So that stung real bad. So it's okay. I don't need to compete. Um, I don't, that's, that's fine. So that's it for me. Um, I am gonna go to the gym and start this new chapter. So sorry for talking so long. I love you guys and uh, thank you for the support. And uh, that's it.